the Dalai Lama says that many of today's problems are from attitudes like always needing to put ourselves first at all cost. The narcissist is someone who always needs to put himself or herself first. Now we've all met someone who we believe is a narcissist because they are so arrogant, so over the top that we label them narcissistic. But true narcissistic personality disorder is not something that we should take lightly or something that we should sideline diagnose people with. So in today's age of instant gratification, is everyone a narcissist? Maybe. So in this age of instant gratification, selfies, texting, the, the need to be seen, many people appear to be narcissistic. But what this typically is, is it's an external look for acknowledgement and attention, most likely due to a low inferiority complex or isolation or separation anxiety, some kind of fear of being alone. When this person feels isolated or alone, he or she will reach out, text to do a selfie, do something to gain some kind of what they feel like is a connection. So to truly diagnose narcissistic personality disorder, you should be using this guy. This is the DSM-5 and it lists all personality and psychological disorders and it was created by crazy people. So anyway, narcissistic personality disorder is a pervasive pattern of grandiosity, an excessive need for admiration, and a lack of empathy. And five or more of the following criteria have to be met to do a like clinical diagnosis of it. You can, you can sideline diagnose people all you want, but if you really wanna know, has an inflated sense of self-importance, is preoccupied with brilliance, success, unlimited power, beauty, or ideal love, believes that he or she is unique and special and can only socialize and be around other unique and special people or organizations, requires excessive admiration, has a high sense of entitlement, exploits or takes advantage of others to achieve success, will step on you to achieve success, Big one, lacks empathy and cannot connect to the feelings or needs of others. Believes that others are envious of him or her or is envious of others. And the last one, displays arrogant and self-important behaviors and attitudes. Remember, five out of those nine have to be met to really believe that someone is narcissistic, clinically narcissistic. So narcissists aren't faking their beliefs. They really, really believe that, that they are as great as they project out. They truly believe that they are perfect, that they never make mistakes, that they are in a class of their own, and that you should admire them. But deep down, narcissists are compensating for a super fragile ego. They have an addiction to feeling significant, so they don't accept criticism. And they have almost zero awareness that they are this fragile, so they just compensate. They will bully, belittle, um, attack anybody. They'll get very condescending towards anyone who, who even starts to break into their facade of arrogance, being perfect. Any of that, they'll go on attack. So can narcissism be treated? The challenge with personality disorders is that it's less about psychology and pretty much all about personality. So they can't be treated like, like other psychological disorders with medication and, and other kind of interventions. Really the only thing that, that a narcissist can do, if they have awareness that this is a problem for them, is they can get some therapy, either group counseling or individual counseling or coaching, to gain some insight how to have better relationships and uh, to project better behavior out into the world which rarely happens because they don't see themselves as the problem. Are you attracted to a narcissist? Are you? So if you're attracted to someone who you think is a narcissist, start by gaining some self-awareness about you. What's the payoff? Are you attractive to them because they balance out an inferiority complex of your own? Or are you attracted to them because you also really dig the attention and are, are kind of extreme in your own behaviors, are you energetically aligned with them or are you energetically opposed to them? Because they are so extreme that typically they won't find someone to be with if that person is, is feeling really balanced. Sorry about that. So you can ask yourself the following questions. What is it about this person that I find attractive or unattractive? 
Why would a narcissist be attracted to me? How do I benefit by being with someone who is the center of attention? Where am I not showing up for myself? Am I comfortable being mistreated and victimized? Is that familiar? What would my life be like without this person? Where does my partner feel a need that I haven't learned how to give myself? And are the consequences of staying in the relationship less or more painful than leaving the relationship? These are good questions for anybody, not just someone who's with a narcissist. So final thoughts on narcissism. So if you're a narcissist, you're in denial that you're not having too much fun. But if you're not a narcissist and you're waking up next to one, you might have started to realize that you're not having much fun anymore. You're realizing that you're a victim either through inferiority or through competition to try to outdo them. You might be holding on to the hope that you'll reconnect with the person you initially fell for because after all, they were charming and they were charismatic and they had a lot of confidence, which you found really attractive. But at this point, you might be finding out the cost of being in the relationship with a narcissist because empathy and compassion are typically non-existent and you're seeing yourself along with maybe some other people being belittled and taken advantage of. And hopefully this feels uncomfortable, maybe familiar, but definitely uncomfortable to you. I'd say that's good because it's time to stop victimizing yourself and reclaim your life. Don't worry, you'll be better than just fine without them and you'll start working on you. Paco wanted me to tell you that statistically there are more men than women narcissists. He also wanted me to tell you that he's not one of them. Are you attracted to a narcissist? He says no. You know Ben, I bet he's a narcissist.